Hello, uh, today I'm going to explain how to upload the MP4 and have a motion background behind you in your Zoom platform. So as you can see the tools here at the bottom, and when you are on a computer, you must be on the computer, you will go into your Zoom, choose your virtual background, and you have some preset options. So this would take you to the bridge or some grass space and then we have two moving backgrounds which are the northern lights our preset and the beach now if you want to add some of your own influences or backgrounds it's simple you just go plus and I want the moving backgrounds that were created by the students. So I am going to add video, which is in the MP4 format. And I have my recordings here that I have done. And let's look and explore some of the backgrounds created by the students. I would just upload James's background and hit open. And instantly I have that playing in the background so now when James is in class he can have his own background in the background that was created by him so this is great as a project with the students or your children and when you create them on a slide they are able then to incorporate them in their own backgrounds and then we have some other backgrounds from Relia uh, then we're gonna upload another background for the other students and then we have the other background which was created is Rami's background and we did Rami number one and she added what she wanted into space and these were all made prior to hearing a story about space so it was a, a great way for them to spend time building their own images and now they can use them at ba as backgrounds so once you have added them on your zoom platform you can find them in the virtual background another thing is while they're in space they can also have fun with the video filters if you have your video filters then you are able to move in and you are able to change some things you can add the pearls the happy faces the movie theater or you can add a plant since I am in space I might as well be a plant or you can add uh, let's see where is the alien I can be the alien in space so this can be a lot of fun because then you can have your lesson and you have your costume added on you don't need a green screen and it's very easy to incorporate it while you're teaching another thing about that is once you have your video filters then let's get over here Bunny is always cute, one of my favorite. I do not want any of those video filters. I'll go over to Studio Effects. Studio Effects come out over on the right. And as you see them, it can literally change and add makeup. And <laughs> looks like it's only got one of my eyebrows. Okay, if I turn. And you can change the color and that also can be fun because then you can be extremely creative. And we have done pink, purple, green, whatever color the kids want, I will choose for them. So if they want the pink, I will hit OK and I will be pink. Then I can incorporate that and say, hey, look, the teacher's got a matching mustache and beard. Um, for us that don't want to go that crazy, that's OK. You don't have to have that and you don't have to incorporate that. But women, we always want a little makeup. Let's add that lipstick and that lipstick can be very thick or you can put it on much lighter. So the great thing about Zoom now, you have the ability to build your own moving backgrounds. Then you have the creativity to do the outline around it, or you can add a mask. And you also have the ability to enjoy some makeup. So I hope this kind of explains how to add your backgrounds and how to change your backgrounds and it's very easy to go back and I don't want the virtual moving motion picture. I just go right up and blur it and you repeat the same process for pictures. Again, pictures 
If you want to add some pictures, let's add an image. I'll go into my images, add an image. I have some photos here in my pictures. I want to use a couple of, I have other backgrounds. I like that image. Let me add some spring. I'm now in a nice, beautiful spring scene. And to make that spring scene fun, I would go over to studio effects, sorry, video filters, and I will just, of course, be the plant because we're in spring and spring is the time for plants. And, this, and then if you just want to teach regularly, you can just have a nice little background behind you. So it gives you an option instead of always looking at your, let's see, over here. This is what it looks like without any background. I do have a board. It's nice, it's easy to use, but I have to always move and adjust it because I have to hide everything behind me. Um, and, and I just wanted to show you all of the future effects and you can add it. Also, another thing you know is over here, when you do studio effects, it will be for all future meetings or it could be just for this meeting. So, some tips on Zoom and how to add the motion backgrounds and talk to you soon.